YouTube family. How are you? How are you coping or how are you thriving? It's a couple of really interesting questions there. Um, so for a little while now, Guy has given me a kind of like picture of what's actually going on. And uh, for the last couple of weeks, when I've been speaking to my clients and various friends and people, there seems to be a theme. And I asked Guy about this theme and she's confirmed yet again what's happening. So in her view, so this is the essence of Mother Earth, in her view, she's she's um, kind of like, if, if you imagine that the earth that we stand upon is a rug. <laughs> Stay with me on this one. <laughs> and she's got hold of the rug and gone, <clears throat> and we've all, all her beings, all the, all the beings on earth have basically gone, woo, and we're free falling. Now, underneath it all, Gaia's actually replenished, restored, vibrant and healthy. And this is the idea of where the different dimensions and frequencies of existence come in to play. So what she's saying is that there is, an ex there is a place where she's already at a higher vibration. And higher vibration means um, just higher consciousness living higher awareness, living out of a state of love rather than fear, um, all of that yummy stuff. And we are in a process, in transformation to, in agreement really with the soul being that we are, before we actually incarnate, we've agreed to do this. So we're in a transformation phase now where we're getting ready, if you like, to optimize our next level of existence when we land on this vibrant, higher dimensional planet. Okay, so if this all sounds a little bit woo woo, then it, it may well be, but it's okay, stay with me because there's some practical stuff coming as always here. So some of the things that have been coming up this week that actually really make sense with what she's saying is, are you feeling at all, I mean, this might not be you at all, but if it is, are you feeling at all a bit misplaced? Like, like something's not quite gelling. Um, like, like you're a bit out of sorts. You know that feeling where you're unsure. You're not on firm footing. And that's exactly what's happening for those people that share this with me. It's like, uh, we're not because we're floating, we're up in the air. So sometimes we're upside down, sideways on, upright, all sorts of different ways, back to front. <laughs> and it's, it's genuinely a positive thing because we're designed now to be free floating whilst we transform to the highest being we can possibly be in this existence so that when we have gathered all those different aspects of ourselves to bear into this one physical frame then we land and purchase our new way of being on the new earth which means that the path we've then chosen is available and we walk, dance, thrive along that pathway. And one of the reasons why uh, this is taking a bit longer for some people than others is because we are not actually settling for anything other than the absolute optimum best. We're not actually going through all of this chaos, all of this change, all of this stuff without something absolutely blooming wonderful at the end of it. So, or through it even. So we are, we have agreed as a soul to take our time here in this floaty, floaty, <laughs> up in the air world so that we can make the best of our transformation. It's almost like we we know, our soul knows what the big picture is. It knows what the agreement is that we've made. It knows what that, 
way forward is and we're not rushing it our souls will not do a deal on this to go fast forward it's basically saying no we're staying in this free fall position within all the flotsam and jetsam and all the change and all the different options and all the us and thems and all of the unity consciousness everything's all in the same soup so that we can actually deliberately pull to us magnetize to us all the things that we've wished for all the things that we know and we want to manifest into this lifetime and once our soul knows that all those aspects of our being have returned to us in full and final form then we can land on the earth that is waiting for us it's within the earth that we're walking upon now if you like and we can access more of the greatness of humankind okay so i hope that makes some sense to you put your comments there about you know are you feeling any of these things you see your new self is trying to reach you in some very 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 gentle ways and it's also trying to reach you in the most immediate and outstanding of ways in a moment and everything in between and what we are required to do is love ourselves to the best of our capability in the present time and also to extend that into loving ourself loving what is in front of us loving the life that's actually there and when confusion comes in when doubt comes in when when any of the uh, unsure i something's you know the rug's been pulled from under our feet love that too get accustomed to that too see if you can actually change that resistance into um, acceptance and allowing what's really 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 expertly right for you to find you so some people are talking about it being uh, said to me this week oh god it just feels like such a struggle and it's they're not knowing that's driving me mad or this and that and the other and it's like actually you know it's almost sometimes good to savor the unknown because once we've gathered everything to us we land and we're off and that's it we've divined a new pathway and we're off to travel it and so then we get more busy and we get more with it and we get more uh, aligned and off we go so this this unsure phase is definitely one if you're feeling anything of the things i've mentioned it's because you are still gathering aspects to yourself one of the things you might want to do is say i call all aspects of my soul back to me now and if you say that three times then it starts to put you into a receive mode and we don't have to know logically consciously what those aspects are we're just allowing ourselves to be open to receive any pieces of those jigsaws of our life that we've wished into place we've agreed with we want now we allow it to find us so we are the becoming of that new human with greatness in us in the now so in one way we need to actually live that now and in another we're living it to the best of our ability whilst we're floating and gently and assuredly and absolutely promise promises have been made we land on that new frequency of earth ready to meet her in our own greatness our own mastery of self and that needs love <laughs> so do your best to love yourself um lots of love to you hope this made some sense to some of you it really felt like i needed to get this message out again and it feels really really important to do so and it's come from the essence of the spirit of the planet Earth called Gaia. <laughs> Lots of love, everyone. Bye for now.